What's going on guys? Got a couple stuff I'm gonna... A couple stuff. What's going on guys? Got some stuff I'm gonna do today on the Jeep. And I have something to show you guys. And that is... Boom. This is a Mishimoto transmission cooler that I picked up for super cheap. Super nice. I'm super excited. It cleaned up really well. So that will be another video for another time. But for today, I'm going to repaint my bumper and I'm going to take some degreaser to the bottom of my engine because I'm going to get hay for it because it's a Jeep, but I like things to be clean. So uh, I'm going to paint my bumper with some of this Rust-Oleum textured. Alex has it on his bumper and it's held up really well. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So while that dries, I'm going to go take a look at my engine bay and see what I can clean up. And I'm going to use some of this crud cutter. It's just Home Depot degreaser, stain remover, cleaner stuff. I used it on my dirt bike and it runs, it runs, it uh, works really good. So uh, let's see what we can get done there. All right, so I'm actually not going to degrease my engine because it's really not that greasy. So, I picked up a jack and a jack stand from Jacob, and I'm gonna work on painting my frame and grinding off all the uh, rust bubbles and all that, because I want it to be mint for the summer when I'm going on the beach all the time. So, uh, that's what I'm gonna work on now. So, my goal is to get all this, all those bumps off and get this nice and smooth all the way up to at least the top of the coil perch there. That's pretty bad under there. But I mean, it's still solid, so I might as well protect it as much as I can now, so. And I wanna pull the wheel off so I can get a wire wheel on there. So I can't reach the stuff underneath with the angle grinder. I can't reach that stuff with the angle grinder so I'm going to have to do it by hand because the exhaust is in the way and I don't feel like moving that hanger in there. So yeah. So that right there is the latest development. Wow that's really bad. That's like Swiss cheese. Oh man. Alright, I'm really gonna have to hit that good. I caught it now, I guess. I'm going to take a break from all that loud noise and depressing news to go back to the bumper, give it another coat. Oh, this stuff looks like it's coming out pretty good. It's like white speckled or silver. That's kind of cool, I guess. 
think I'll do another coat here and then I'll flip it over and get the inside and whatever edges I missed. So I'm going to paint my frame with some Eastwood chassis black and it has it's an epoxy based paint so it dries really hard and a lot of people don't like Eastwood for some reason but a lot of people argue you know POR 15 or this or that I'm a fan of Eastwood I've had good luck with it with the rest of my frame so I'm going to continue to use it I might have mentioned in another video, I'm not sure, but I stripped this wheel stud and I was just gonna try and get it out real quick. I didn't expect to get too far so I didn't film, but it actually popped right out if you just hit it with a hammer. So yeah, now I just gotta figure out how to get the drum off because it moves but it doesn't come off, so. Uh, that's the next project. Okay, so update. I did read on the forums that it just comes right off, and since it's rusted, if I hit it with a hammer a little bit, it should uh, work its way off. new one. Now I'm going to try and put this in without the right tools probably. <laughs> so before I try and break anything I noticed that the neural length you can't see it it's dark but see how much uh, you can't see these neurals are much longer than on um, the old ones so I don't want to try and hit that in there and then destroy stuff so that means a trip to Napa all right so no one is around to bring me to the auto parts store and I blocked my mom's car in so that calls for a motorbike trip so I will talk to you guys when I get back uh, all right so I got back and I got my wheel stud and shoved it on there. It's not exact, but it'll work. So I'm sitting here editing today's video in my car waiting to go to class and I kind of just like stopped filming for the day. I put my wheel on and like that was it. So uh, I was getting really frustrated that I didn't have any help and I smashed my finger really hard. It doesn't look that bad but it hurts. Uh, it's just one of those days you're working on the car and things just don't go perfect which is that's actually always. So if you made it this far to the video thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.